Okay, I don't actually know if I'm going to use this footage or where I'm... Well, no, I'm going to use this footage. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but uh, apparently the Gravekeeper... Talk to him from behind. Uh, he might not sell things to you, but he does say new things. Slaughtered him, did ya? His primal sin now flows through you. Do you feel it? This sin is so heavy, so delicious. It need not be a burden, traveler. It need not crotch you. Find the Cathedral of the Filth God. The old priest will cleanse your innards. His touch will give you strength. Apparently, if I talk to him from this angle... What is that fragment? Fragrance. You reek of sin. Delicious sin. Perhaps I can interest you in one of my precious finds. So yeah, if you actually talk to him, he will sell things. Uh, to you. I did know this. Whoops. So, increases the carrying capacity of these things. Oh. So, he sells a straight-up weapon. Let's buy that. He also sells a... Let's see. He also sells the, uh... The key. Otherwise, I really just want to pick up the soul flame essence and then we'll go from there. Well... Uh, a key. But what is a key without a lock? And a lock without a secret? Let's see. Uh, while we're here, I'm gonna try switching out the Hammer of the Unmaking. I actually saw this spear. But I actually saw this spear. There we go. In, um, in some of the demo footage. The demo? The available footage that the, uh, the, the developer put out. Oh, there's a thing I gotta go back for. Shoot. Uh, I'm gonna hit the, uh, I'm gonna hit the beacon first. Uh, but I saw this spear for the, uh, for the smith fight. And I was like, wait, that's, you don't get that yet. Where do you get that? And the answer is, oh, you get that over here. Unfortunately, it's not immediately obvious when certain guys are merchants. I'm glad I was able to spend some of this in that. So now I outrange them. It's a bit tough, but that's okay. I'm curious what the uh, charge up is. Anyway, we've actually got something here. Let's switch over to the. Hammer of Unmaking. I don't... I don't know what's in this. This is something. Oh, that's creepy. None of this is good. Probably going to die. Who's out? Who knows? Hmm. What do you want? Have you come to share the word? No, that's not it. You seek an audience with the knight. You seek an audience with the knight. Do you not? But of course. Audience shall be granted, provided answer is adequate. Be wary, for an adequate answer demands a blood price to be paid. That is our contract. What is death's gift to the living? Death doesn't give life. I assume this is something that we learn later. Hope? No. Purpose? What's the character limit? Answer is inadequate. Contract demands blood be collected. Ow. What does death give the living? Huh. I feel like this is a context clue, but I wonder if I can solve it early. I'm gonna be real mad if it's something close to purpose, but not. Um... Okay, I'm gonna give this, like, two more tries. Yeah. Um... I'm just gonna guesstimate these, and if none of them work... 
then, uh, oops. Yeah, if none of them work, then we'll just, uh, we'll just go along. It'd be interesting if I could crack it early, but chances are this is going to be something we learn about at a later date. We wait your answer. What does death give the living? Gift to the living. We got one more in me. Then I'm gonna have to book it. You carry the, ina uh, the adequate answer, I wonder. Chances are we're, we're out of luck on this one. I'm just picking kind of random platitudes. Yeah, all right, out of luck. I don't know, um, I guess, unfortunately I think going in there is spoilers, so I guess this will be tacked on to the beginning of the next session or something like that. But if you guys have any suggestions for me to come back and try, I wouldn't mind trying them occasionally. Fortunately, it does seem like uh, traversing the environment is gonna be a bit of a time-consuming process. So I might only come back occasionally, but I wouldn't mind um, either chucking myself into it or just, you know, coming back later when we have the actual answer. Okay, uh, let's see. So we've got one last thing I want to do here. Go back to the... Let's go back to the spear, just because I like it. I'm not entirely sure which direction is is best for me, but that's okay. We just have to kill a couple of dudes, and then I can go get the spear. In fact, actually, if I if I go right back down now, I'll be good to go. Because all I have to do is um, fight two more guys, and I can have enough to to get that vessel or something. I don't know if that's like a single consumable, but it looks like, um, it looks like something that I, I, uh, have as like a permanent upgrade. The more permanent upgrades I can get, the better. Baseline, I don't know. I should see about, uh, equipping other items, because I bet I can... I bet I can equip different, uh... Oh, right, I could have totally used the small sinner's memories, now that I'm thinking about it. I could just burn through my stock of them and grab all the other stuff. Oh, well, later. Oh, this is an equip. No, we already, we already have that equipped. Use, 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 use. Equip. Refreshes ability cooldown. Okay, so we go back to this guy, and he's got another Soul Flame Essence. Sure. Unless these are consumable. I don't know if they are or not. How, how cheap are they? Oh, I'm sorry. There's, he, he has things to say, and I missed it. Spent our lives rolling through the dirt, trying to put out the fires of the structures we created, dot dot dot. Just want to buy things. Sometimes I wonder if the flames can ever be extinguished. Perhaps it's the cycle that must be ended. I was just trying to get into the shop dialogue, but maybe it's one of those where, um... That's no good. Okay, I'm gonna go back up. Uh, there is a beacon over to the right. But I have some things I can do. We do also have, like, a ton of small sinner's memory. Use that. It is not worth that much sin, though. Well, 
I'm gonna try refreshing my ability cooldown and see if it comes back when I use the beacon. Uh, so... It doesn't look like I can get any more Essences of Altus. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping that would be something that I could use, like, the, the healing item. But we do have another uh, charge on our healing item. Awesome. Okay, well, that's at least a plus. I don't think I'll go purchase the other things from him. I don't think it's worth the effort. Not yet, anyway. Maybe later. Shame I had to waste that one to find out. Because it said equip, and so I figured it'd be kind of like the Estus Flask, but no. Oh, well. Okay! Oh, shoot. Eh, whatever. I'm here. Things are happening. Where am I? That's an interesting question. I don't remember where I am. I recorded an episode where I could just, um... I'm all the way over... Okay, I'm all the way over here. Sure, why not? Uh, I recorded an episode because I found out... Uh, I guess this will be repeated twice, but I found out this guy is a shopkeeper. Never mind, he's not a shopkeeper. Oh, it's because I don't have any money. But you have to talk to him on the on the opposite side. Uh, like, you have to face him. If you don't face him, he says nothing to you. And I'm sorry this is really loud. Apparently, the audio settings got reset. Okay, and now that I'm not in danger, I'm going to turn it down. There we go. Because, yeah... This game finally came out today, and I didn't have an episode prep for today. But I figure now I do. Or I'll have an episode for tomorrow. Things ish. Okay. Uh it's So the embargo's over for unworthy? Yep. And it's it's fully out. So how was my day today, Wander? It was hot. It's too hot. It's way too warm outside. I, it's been like 90 degrees for the past couple days, and like, I am overheating really badly right now, and I don't like it. Um. But, I don't really have much of a choice. Um. I'm pretty sure I'm freezing poor Shell in the other room, just to keep myself okay. Okay, Shell's warm too. Good. Then I don't have to worry about it. Um. But it's, it's just been so warm and so just uncomfortable here. And I don't like it, but I don't have much of a choice. I'm glad I have AC, but I... Are you serious? There's a dude just hanging out in there. That's weird. Um, but, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I mostly just have to suck it up and... It's only really bad from, like, the hours of 6 at night to about 11. And then it's, like, finally starting to cool down outside. So the temperature can finally start dropping around here. Ah, uh, but it's like, it's May. It has no business being this warm. But it is. And, I don't know, whatever. And then, of course, everything's also been super cursed. <laughs> Oh, man, from beating Moonlighter in, like, 20 minutes to uh, just trying to get shit working at the Pokemon game. Oh, right, forgot. I don't think this spear is worth it. Hard to say. But yeah, this is why this is why I used to be super nocturnal. Um, you know why I used to record from uh, between the hours of like midnight and five a.m. Uh, I forgot this area is Quilla Land. It's super easy to forget. Nah. Um, but yeah, I used to stream from the hours of like midnight to five, which was awesome for me. Like it worked really, really well. Um, there's an item over there, but I don't know how to even get it. Or, no, I do. What the... What? Huh. That was weird. The elevator just stops there. Uh, 
Uh, well, let's just go down here. I was confused. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. But yeah, now that I've moved out and I'm on my own, it's a little easier to stream kind of whenever I want, so I've been pushing it earlier. But during the summer, it's just like, I don't want to... Oh, right. I busted this wall down, and I couldn't get through. So I guess we'll go the other way. I don't know. I'm just not a... I'm not... I'm not built for warm. Someday, I'll move back up north again. Problem is, like... I am not swinging. Okay, that's weird. Oh, free item. Perfect. Lurker's blood. People to the far left of the shields. I don't think I'm supposed to go there yet. I could be wrong. But I, I get the feeling that they're they're not progression. Come to Montana, you only have winter. Yeah, you also generally have pretty bad internet from what I've heard. I could be wrong on that one, but I'm I don't know. I'm waiting for the uh the world to get a little bit better before I look too far into moving around. Uh, the place I live right now is like super low like upkeep. I don't have to worry about spending um, I don't have to worry about spending more than like effectively a thousand dollars on rent, food, utilities, whatever. Uh, maybe a little bit more for food but still. Um, but I'm in this like position of utter like financial stability and so the idea of moving anywhere else is scary to me especially if it like messes with my stream setup or costs more i want good internet wherever i move to yeah it is it is truly painful not to can i can i talk to this guy hmm. sounds like i'm supposed to do something with this guy but I don't think I can yet. Frozen waste. Actually a new area. And I'm just gonna kind of plow through these guys. We will probably wanna grind. I'll get to wherever the next boss is and then probably just grind for a while or something. Figure it out. By the way, I should probably mention Heavy shout out to the uh to the developer. Um Oh not often we see a fresh face around here. What cruel fate has brought you to these wretched lands, I wonder? Have you come seeking refuge? Or perhaps you seek a full bosom to provide warmth through the night. <laughs> you will find no such comforts in these forsaken lands, my friend. Long have they been abandoned by the grace of God. I fear the only salvation for us fools would be the within the mercy of death. Death does not judge us. Death does not weigh our worth. Death does not measure. You wonder why I continue, don't you? Cowardice and hope, I suppose. Hope. It consumes and twists the mind. The hope that someday we may be something more. The hope that we may someday bring worth to our petty existence. When we finally come to realize that hope is without target, we turn to neighbor with envy. Misplace hopes and ambitions. They have undone man. Pathetic. Equality. Only in death are we equal, Traveler. You do well to remember that. Can I... Nope. I was really hoping I could, like, buy things from him. Everybody needs to be a shopkeeper. Hello, creepy mausoleum place. It's an inconspicuous thing, is it not? Oh, this is the voice. The human soul. It is not so different from a sponge. It soaks up the sins of our bodies, and over time it swells. Eventually, the soul must be squeezed, and it must be strained. It must be drained of sin, else it will simply rot away. And in the end, Nothing but filth will remain. The Cathedral of Ur.
Oh, hi. Okay. Soul Flame Mastery. Increases healing of Soul Flame Essence flasks by 5 HP. Base armor by 100. Chance to refill a Soul Flame Essence when killing an enemy. Extra max HP. Stamina regeneration by 20%. 25% of... Okay. Melee attacks 3%. Chance to crit, base damage by one, three damage to melee attackers. I'm gonna go, oh, I gotta get that first. And, okay. That's, yeah, so we have a, a talent tree system. Wow. He, um, I don't think he approves of me. But I have atoned, I guess. So that's gonna... Oh, that costs sin. So I guess it's time to start farming sin. I think we probably get a talent point for, like, every couple of levels? This is the place where you level. Well, sort of. The thing is, there's a actually massive difference. Um, there, There's two types of levels. There's the talents there, which seem to be tied with... Uh, with my level, but I straight up just level up. Like, that's a thing. Well, this doesn't go anywhere. Where do I save? Because there's, to there's totally a place to, place to save here. Wish it told you how much sin you needed. It was there. There was, like, the one at top. Oh, this is where I brand. It wasn't, it wasn't letting me brand there earlier. Okay, um, there was the one at top, which I assume is how many points you had left. And then the second one was how much sin you had, and then the third one was how much sin you needed. And if you jump off that, what will happen? Death. Fall damage is not friendly in this game. I wonder how long this game is. It was made by a very small team. Oh, right, I was, I was doing a shout-out to the dev. Um, yeah, so if you guys remember in my first couple episodes, I said, uh... I said... You know, the, well, people had said the screen shake was a problem. And, if we go into settings, uh, I think it was settings? I don't actually know where it is. Maybe it's, um, out in the main menu. But there is actually a, uh, there's actually a screen shake menu now. Meter now. Thing. I don't know, whatever. Oh. Can't do anything with this. But yeah, so I, I sent him an email about that almost immediately. Opens from other side. Well, either I gotta figure out how to platform or I gotta figure out another way through. That's gonna be interesting. Um, but yeah, so he like actually fixed that up within like seconds? Oh, you know what? I know what we need. Oh. We have like a moving platform. That was stuck there. So levels and perks are separate things. Semi-separate. I think you can, um... I think you're locked on how many perks you can get. There we go. You are actually supposed to do some stuff like that. That's really cool. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for my stuff to come back. There we go. New Grimoire entry. Yeah, how many more do we have? So Wanderer, we've seen that. Halberd, seen that. Crossbow. Suent, Devour the Light. Suent. Or the Fallen Father was the first and only council member to have ascended. Banished and abandoned, Suent became a parasitic devourer of the light. He once swore to serve. Dark Lurker, they do not crawl before they walk. They shall not live before they die. In eternal servitude of the dark forever, they shall confide. Absolved. They wander aimlessly in search of something more. Narcos, the anvil. 
Narcos, revered as the father of the art of blacksmithy, is said to have come from a foreign land. With unrivaled skill, it was he who, char who was charged with the construction of sacred kilns when the filth first spread. Sentinel, worthless scraps animated by soul flame. With his dying breaths, Narcos gave life to the Sentinels. He hoped that these soulless titans would serve as eternal wards against the filth. Operate under the assumption that anything moves is evil. Okay, new grimoire entry. Death Speaker. When fear consumed all but the fleeting shadow of their known existence, some men turned to the Night God, Death. In cowardice, they embraced the nothing over the unknown, and in their nihilism, they found strength. Okay, let's do this. Or let's wait for the platform to come back at the very least. I duck new. No. Okay, this will be interesting. Okay. That's going to be awkward. This is not a uh, it's a long walk. I was kind of hoping we wouldn't have puzzle platforming elements, but no, we've got puzzle platforming elements to go with anything else. At least, at least it's kind of an original mechanic. I've never seen something like this. Oops. Maybe over here. Ow. Okay. Got a little bit more range on that than I thought he would. Luckily, he's super susceptible to jumping, so it doesn't matter that much. It's also one of those where, oops. Well, yeah, we want to go down this way. Where's my souls? Oh, good. They're right up there. Or my sin. Oh, that sucks. I will admit, I liked the Hollow Knight method a little bit better. The Hollow Knight method was like, if you entered into the room or got near to it, if it was a boss room, you'd have the... Uh, You'd have the thing show up. Because, yeah, I'm not getting those back. Opens from the other side. Do you think the spikes will touch you from the side, or do they push you? Duh! Well, I mean, they, it's an instant kill one way or another. I want nothing to do with the spikes, so yeah, I guess I guess I've just lost those. <sighs> Please tell me this door opens from the other side. Great. Oh, good. Man, I thought this was just going to be a pure combat game. Okay. This is kind of mean. I don't think I'm going to get that sin back either. Yeah, so I have to use my hammer here. Well, I guess it's time to start learning how to use it. Now, for remember, I, I can charge it up. Ow. Oh, right, I don't have the, the shield buff with this thing. There might be a brand associated with it, but... Okay. Well... Yeah, you have to hammer that guy. Which does mean I can go back the other way, but... Because there, there was an area all the way over here that I couldn't get past the shield guys either. 
But I assumed that was something for later, but no. I guess it makes sense. You gotta hammer him. Hopefully it just breaks the shield or something. Okay. At least it doesn't take too long once you not know the process for it. I'm just never a big fan of instant death. You know, maybe I should go this way. Because I can progress this direction. Let's see if I can get a save point or something. Watch this just be even dirtier over here. And it's like, no. Well, instead, it is just nothing. Oh, there's something over here. Oh, come on. That's just insulting. Rotting flesh is like a, a very, very low eel. That was not worth coming out there for. Ah, what a tease. So can you hammer lock doors? Nope. Oh, they... You cannot beat door down, doors down. I don't wish you could. Okay. Okay, almost died. Should probably heal. Uh, let's go back up to full. Chances are we don't have to deal with anything particularly dirty after that. Except for you. Was that theirs? I have no idea. Um. Oh. If I do this... I can go up here. But that doesn't really help me that much. Wait, let's go, let's try going to the right. I don't think there's anything there. No. Okay, just harm. But I can go up here. So I, I can get through this. Okay, this puts me... The Undone Palace. Is it just me, or does this look like a boss fight? Just gonna... Inspect? Only those branded by the mark of death may seek passage to the chambers of life. Oh, goody. What do we have over here? Okay, I'm going to give that guy a bit of a wide berth. Oh, still got me. Okay. I got my shields up. There we go. Okay. So I could have taken this ladder earlier if I had felt like it. Might have actually... No, that would have been a problem. Okay, good. We have found, presumably, safety. There we go. Okay, those cages don't hurt me. But we have a bit of a... Okay, so we've got... Bonesley... Mansley... Oh, God! Come on!
Okay. Just gonna keep my distance for a second. Only McShockington. Ah, damn it. Okay. Yeah. So close to death. Please be the end of that. Under City Key. Please and thank you. Okay. That was a little bit more than I was bargaining for, honestly. That was a really jerk place to, uh, to put the bonfire. Let's go see if there's another one. Do you have that cruddy potion? Oh. Well, the thing about that cruddy potion is it's, um, I have to open up my inventory and use it. And the problem is, um, using anything from my inventory, uh, it doesn't pause the game. So it's not like, it's not a Skyrim situation where I can just be like, yeah. It's very much a, like, this really does feel like a boss fight. This is just waiting for me here. Okay, well, we level up at the very least. Maybe this connects to somewhere that I've been or some... I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, it's like Dark Souls. The game goes no matter what. Oh. Wow. That's douchey. Turns out Jesus of Nazareth got... Damn it. Are you kidding me? Jesus hit his berserk button when they put him on the cross. Wow. Yeah, one thing I don't like about this game is uh, sometimes I'll be standing directly inside of an enemy. And I'll swing, and they can hit me, but I can't hit them, and it's like, oh, come on. I might not be able to get up. Oh, I can. I can definitely get up. Come on. How? How? Fuck. Uh. Man, that's one thing I hate about the jump. I will jump, and I will just miss. Oh, see ya. I want nothing to do with you. Not of your nonsense. This might just be one of those where I... Why do I always take damage on that one? It might be one of those where I just sit down and grind someday. Find find an easy spot with a bunch of enemies that I can just more or less one-shot. And then, uh... Yeah, just go to town on them for a while. Get up to, you know, gain 10 levels, something like that. It certainly helps. Like, this is one of those games where leveling up makes a massive difference. Fucking... You can't do anything. When, like... Oh, come on. Oh. Okay. I'm totally out of stamina. Oh, back we go. 
Clearly you need to crucify your characters so they can they can be OP. Ah. I mean it would be cool if I could get like a swirly move like that. I've I've got so I've got the glaive which does have a swirly attack. is mean. Uh, but yeah, my sw my swirling attack is totally, um, is... I always do that. Is, uh, totally stationary. And so they can spin a win and completely demolish my face. I... I cannot. I mean, at least this is good EXP. And honestly, like, we barely have anything to spend souls on to begin with. The main problem is just, like, trying to clear distance to hit one of these guys is shockingly difficult sometimes. Oh, good. I went straight over that. Oh, that's where he gets his HP back! I was like, okay, well, he's a little injured. I just have to... Nope. I guess that's there so you can't, like, scum cheese enemies, but it's... Kind of infuriating. Yeah, okay, I'm done. I'll probably play more of this, but... but I just... I don't have the patience for this tonight. Apparently.